when I met with him, he indicated to me that he was um, fairly treated. He was processed, his fingerprints were taken and photographs taken like any normal deportee. Um, I was informed that allegations were put to him in my absence. Those allegations related to the murder of Donald Allison and Waddle and that he would be kept in custody pending investigation. So there has no, been no decision to charge, that's my understanding. But they, they are investigating those specific matters. So I think that um, we have to allow those investigations to continue. In the meantime, what legal recourse are you contemplating? The police have to do their work and they have a right to investigate whatever evidence they have. They have to follow up everything. I am aware, however, that um, there is no evidence in relation to either of those two matters. And I'm also aware that the legal advice was given to the police that there was no evidence upon which any charge could be, um, could be laid. So the only logical thing is, is that they hope to get some sort of evidence from him. Which I, I don't I doubt that they will. So it is possible that he could kept for seven hours. I think it would be I think it would be improper for him to be kept for seventy two hours. I think police misunderstand that law. The law is not permissive, it is prohibitive. The constitution says that you cannot keep someone beyond seventy two hours without charging them. It doesn't permit the police to keep him for 72 hours if they have no reasonable suspicion. And from, from all of my investigations, there's absolutely no evidence against him for either of those two matters. You'll have access to him? I, I just have access you to him. You will have access I will have access to him. What did he say to you specifically? Oh, one thing I wanted to say. There was a, a charade when I first went in. There were lights, just like there are lights on my face now. There, were, there was a video camera and they were filming my conversation with him and it, my client illegal? my client and myself protested and with some reluctance the cameras were switched off and we were we had to, we were allowed to speak privately but privately in a sense that we were surrounded and they were looking at us did the police give any basis though for putting those allegations to him no well, I, I wasn't there when they put the allegations, but my client indicated that they just put it and said that they're holding and pending those investigations. And you said that uh, as far as you were, they received legal advice concerning, well, saying that there was nothing.